Hey everybody, welcome to Tested.com and day two of the week of making. Today's personal essay on making will be brought to you by... Hey Nation of Makers, Kishore from Tested here. And I'm here to talk to you about what making has meant to me. I'm going to start with the story of this. This is a train I built in shop class when I was in 10th grade. I think it actually might have been the first thing I really built with my hands and power tools. It might have been the first time I actually laid my hands on some real power tools. We didn't actually have that much money growing up. My dad didn't really have that many tools around except you know, basic screwdrivers and wrenches and stuff. And we had a shop class and all of these amazing things. And we had this collaborative project where we were gonna build a train bank. And it was really cool. We got to help design it from start to finish. We worked as assembly line as a team and put all of these pieces together, even sort of branded the wheels here. And I've kept it all these years. It's been 25 years since I built this. Um, because of one particular part of this. Right here on the front, um, a gumball would come out as you would turn this sort of wheel and land here at the front of the train. Um, and my responsibility was to drill out the holes for the little guardrail. It was supposed to be just like here on the back, like a little metal railing. Um, and I drilled out the holes wrong. And uh, I remember the teacher coming over and we had like a day left to sort of finish this project. This was one of the last things we were gonna do. And him looking at the holes and clearly recognizing that I had done something wrong and not follow the instructions. Um, and I was a pretty shy kid at that point and pretty averse to messing up. Uh, and I remember what the teacher did in this moment where I knew I had screwed up. He uh, looked at me and he was like, oh, okay. Let's figure out how to make this work. And he brought over a group of other kids and we started to work the problem. And we came up with a totally different solution. I think it was the first time a teacher really spent time with me and made sure that failure was okay, that it was a place of learning, a place where I could grow and be resilient. And that's what it feels like to be part of the maker community when it's at its best. It's a community that really supports you it's a community that really helps you grow. And it's a community that lets you unleash your creativity in the world. So I keep this on my shelf at all times to remind me of that moment. Because that resiliency I gained from learning that failure is okay, it's part of the process, has led me to a whole career in science that wouldn't have been possible without it. So thanks to the shop teachers and all the students that made that possible. I can't wait to see what everyone makes on this week of making.